Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Are you a photographer that often uses Photoshop, On One Photo Raw, or as you see here, Luminar AI to replace a sky in an image and find it difficult to look through your skies to find the sky that would work in the scene you're working on? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you could use Lightroom to create a contact sheet of your skies so you could easily just refer to your contact sheet to find the sky you need for the image you're working on. Okay, the first thing you need to do is import those skies into Lightroom. You can see over on the left hand side in my folders I have a number of different skies. I'm going to be working with what I consider to be the best skies on the market, the OccuDrone skies. You can see I have a number of different OccuDrone skies. I have a link to them in the description below this video. Now you'll see they come in packs of 25. The contact sheets I'm going to be creating will hold 50 images. So I'll be able to put two of these folders onto one contact sheet. So what I need to do is click on one. I'm going to, here, let me make this a little bigger. I'm going to use the OccuDrone Cotton Candy Skies. And I'm also going to put, put on the OccuDrone Crystal Blue Skies all on one sheet. To do that, I'll click on the Cotton Candy Skies, hold my Command key on my Mac, click on the Crystal Blue Skies, so that's selected as well. So we have both folders selected. If you have a PC, you hold in the Control key. Now I want to make sure that I select every single image in the film strip, so just click on one and hit Command or Control A to select all of them. So they're all selected. Now we're going to create a collection that contains all those images. So we'll click this little plus sign, and we're going to create a collection. And I'm simply, it doesn't matter what you call it, I'm just going to call it skies. But I want to make sure that include selected photos is checked. And then create. And we created our collection. And it brings us to that collection and it keeps all of those images selected so they're all active. Now what we want to make sure is that they're sorted by file name. That way they'll print out in order and they'll be easier to find. So go to this uh, little area right here, file name. Uh, click this drop down I mean and then you'll go to file name so make sure you're there and you're not on like label text or anything like that you're on file name just like that so they're in order the way we need them now go over to the print module click up here on print now we're going to use a specific Lightroom template so over here on the left hand panel panel under the template browser go to Lightroom templates and then go down and you'll see one here that's five by 11. Now that doesn't mean it's five inches by 11 inches or five centimeters by 11 centimeters. That means it's five columns by 11 rows. So it will hold 55 images. So that will fit. So we're gonna click on that. Now because they're all selected down here, they're all, and what I mean by selected here, if I unselect one by holding in the command key and clicking on it, and then click, see only one is selected now. I need them all selected, so make sure all of them are selected. All right. Then when I click on that um, 5 by 11 contact sheet, you'll see that it populates it with all those images. Now we have an extra row down here. Now, of course, I'm working with the OccuDrone images that are in packs of 25. So you may be different. Maybe you're working on some that are packs of 10 and you have five of them or or something and you could fit those in. Or maybe you have just odd sky images you took yourself you could fit that many here, but I don't need this last row. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to right here, the page grid, and you can see rows is 11. All I need to do is change that to 10. So I could just move this slider to left, and then you could see it got rid of that last row, and it made them all a little larger. Also, uh, take off show guides. It won't print the guides. Right now you're seeing the guides on this paper, but if I click there, you'll see more of how it's going to be printed. And you could see that the Cotton Candy Sky 01, it has the name underneath it, and so on. That's what that uh, preset did, that template, um, Lightroom template does. 
it uh, puts the name of the uh, file underneath the sky. So you could get a nice look at what those skies look like and then hopefully uh, bring it over you know, in front of your image, kind of look at it, say, yeah, that sky will work with this image. And then you could find that same sky in the application you're using, Luminar on one Photoshop, or if you're using another application to replace a sky, this will help you a lot. So we're really okay right here. Now what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to uh, create my own template for this because I modified it, didn't I? I I have 10 rows instead of 11. I mean, I could always use that and come over here and make it 10. That's not that hard to do, but is easier if I create my own template. So I'll just uh, click right here, right? And we're going to call this a five by 10, five X one O contact sheet. Just like that. And it's gonna be under user templates, which is right here. All right, and we'll click create. Okay, so now we have our custom template. Now I'm ready to print this. So what I'm going to do is go down to the bottom. Now I could save it to a JPEG file, or I could send it to the printer. And if I send it to the printer, um, where I am now at my house, I don't have a lot of options on my printer, so as you could see. So I could just send it, and I could click on print right here, and I'm ready to print this. And then when you're ready to do another set, you just go back. You could clear out your collection that you have here, just empty it out or delete the collection altogether. For example, if I was um, ready to do the next set, I printed this already. What I could do is go to the library module, come over here, the skies collection, I'll just get rid of it. It's not going to delete the images on your uh, computer. It's just going to remove the collection. Then what I'll do is I'll go back up to my skies and I just did the cotton candy and the crystal blue. Next, I could do the op epic tropical sunsets and the majestic uh, blue skies. Again, I'll hold the command key and select that. Make sure I'm clicked on the first one, hit command or control A to select all of them. Go back down to the collections, create a collection again. Again, I'll just call it skies, right? And we're gonna include the selected photos. That's important, just like that. They're all still active and selected. And then we'll go over to the print module and there it is, we have our skies. We'll use the five by 10 contact sheet and you could see the epic sunset ones are active now and that. And then I could go and print this. Again, we could just go to the printer. And again, I don't have a uh, high quality printer here right at the moment. I could turn that off. So I don't have a lot of options here. Um, so, but I could still have a color printer here, but I have my high quality printer in my studio and I happen to be at home. So right now, I just click, click print and do those. And I could just keep doing that for all of the sky images I have. And then I could easily reference this when I need to find a sky for a specific scene. So I hope that helps you better organize your sky images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>